PowerBook 44 Season 2 has only had one episode, but can we just say how amazing it is thus far? It feels like the show is about to get even grittier from this point on because everything, from the action to the drama to the cinematography, feels more forced. Let's praise this show in particular for getting Dahlia off the board right away with that. It was usually the most difficult to purchase because of the production and transmission methods, which at times had a science fiction feel to it. But that wasn't Tommy's world, as we both know it wasn't. It's not the kind of thing he usually moves. It seems reasonable that the formula would get out and sabotage Claudia's future goals. It enables the plot to become a little bit more traditional, which we like, and it also enables that character to move in a different, murkier way. In Episode 2, Jinnard's group seeks retribution while Tommy finds that Miguel and the Serbs are at odds, which he and Diamond exploit for CBI. In the meantime, the Feds pursue a task force with Tommy at the focus of the investigation. After one episode, how can you not be satisfied with the state of affairs? Tommy is moving on with Diamond and expanding his empire, but he is unaware that a task force has already determined that he is still alive. We do believe there is a real threat here if they have previously discovered that he is in Chicago and likely took great pains to fake his own death. This franchise works best when the law enforcement side isn't made up of idiots. Not even Miguel or the Flynn family are mentioned in this. The most significant development in the first episode is simply that Tommy feels more like himself once more. A confident man who can be a little reckless, but who nevertheless values loyalty above all else. Now that he has a family in Chicago to defend, there is a sense that the stakes are legitimate.